Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Sony has done quite a bit this past week with Horizon Forbidden West, and I cannot say that it's for the better overall. Let's take a look at this entire fiasco. For starters, they said they would not be offering a free upgrade for PS4 owners. A paid upgrade wasn't even offered. Additionally, in order to get both versions of Horizon Forbidden West, you have to purchase their Digital Deluxe Edition. The Special Edition doesn't even allow you to upgrade. The funny thing is that last year, Jim Ryan said that Forbidden West would be among the games to get a free upgrade, and yet now, Sony went back on their word, forcing users to pay to get both versions of the game. However, within a few days, Sony backpedaled after what I presume to be public backlash. Jim Ryan released another statement, adding that they missed the mark. He also acknowledged that he made a promise last year, and now says that Sony will keep that promise. A free upgrade for PS4 users will be available, so all's well that ends well, right? Not exactly. He added that moving forward, all first-party cross-gen tiles will require a $10 payment for upgrades, including God of War 5 and Gran Turismo 7. The reality of the situation is that Sony is despicable in every aspect. After making a promise to provide the free upgrade, they break that promise, only reversing that decision because they got caught with their hands in the cookie jar. Make no mistake, just because they reverse their decision does not make them the good guy in this situation. It's simply them testing out the waters to see what they can get away with, just like how Microsoft doubled the price of Xbox Live earlier this year, but only reversed their decision because of backlash. Sony didn't even have an upgrade option available, there was only one option to choose, which was the Digital Deluxe Edition. Additionally, they admit that even though they can't fleece consumers out of their money now, they will get that money later. This entire situation is something that should get people to scrutinize Sony and not rush out to buy the latest thing from them. Furthermore, this is more evidence that Sony is trying to make $70 prices the norm for them. Forbidden West is $70 on the PS5, while the PS4 version is $60. It's likely that most PS5 first party games will have that same price, and cross gen upgrades will have that $70 price with the $10 fee. Why would anyone be okay with paying this much for a game? Why are people accepting this practice? Because it's Sony? Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. I mentioned last year how on PC, you don't buy a new game to get better performance or visuals. When you upgrade your build or get a new one, all the games you have will get better performance because you have better parts and better hardware. You don't need to buy a new version of the game. Why do people not want to do this on consoles? Additionally, Microsoft is offering smart delivery for their games, which it seemed that Sony was going to follow with them in this regard. It seems that is not the case anymore. I don't know what more I can say. My words will fall on deaf ears, and it is your money at the end of the day. I cannot force you into spending it in ways you do not deem fit. However, if you criticize Nintendo for having their Switch tax, you would be a hypocrite for not acknowledging that Sony has a PS5 tax for their first party games. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, I really appreciate it. I have another video planned for this week, so stay tuned for that. I hope you all enjoy your Labor Day. So until next time everyone, I am Zerikon signing off, have a good one.